Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on integers and absolute value. To start, a negative number is a number less than zero. A positive number is a number greater than zero. Negative numbers like negative three and positive numbers like positive three are members of the set of integers. An integer is any number from the set all the way, f all the negatives to negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, and so on, where dot, dot, dot means continues indefinitely. So negative integers are less than zero, and positive integers are greater than zero. Zero is neither negative nor positive. Integers such as positive three and negative three are called opposites because they are the same distance from zero on the number line. In our first example, we are asked to write an integer for each situation, then identify its opposite and describe what it means. So for 32 feet underground, well, we're underground, so this is smaller than zero if zero was kind of ground level. And so we can say that an integer for this situation is negative 32. Well, it's opposite of negative 32 would be a positive 32. And this would mean 32 feet above ground. Example 1b, eight weeks after winning. Well, an integer to represent this could be eight, and sometimes you'll see this also written plus eight, either way works, the plus eight or just the standard regular good old eight. The opposite of a positive eight is going to be negative eight. And what this could mean, the opposite of eight weeks after winning would be eight weeks before winning. Let's continue on. To graph an integer, locate the point named by the integer on a number line. The coordinate is the number that corresponds to the point on a number line. And so graph of a point with a coordinate negative five. Graph of a point with coordinate four. Any mathematical sentence containing the less than sign or greater than sign is called an inequality. So an inequality compares numbers or quantities. When two numbers are graphed on a number line, the number to the left is always less than the number to the right. The smaller numbers are always on the left side of the number line. The bigger numbers are always on the right side of the number line. So use the integers graphed on the number line below. Write two inequalities involving seven and negative four. Well, seven's out here. And so we have negative four on the left and seven on the right. And remember, numbers on the left are smaller than numbers on the right. And so we can write the inequality negative 4 is less than 7. Now we can always write that the other way and say 7 is greater than negative 4. So two inequalities involving 7 and negative 4. 
Next, replace the box with less than, greater than, or equal to to make a true statement. Negative 2, box 3. Well, we can use the number line to help us. We have negative 2 here and our positive 3 over here. Negative 2 is on the left side, so it's smaller than 3. So negative 2 is less than 3. And again, the less than symbol. The high temperatures for the first seven days in January were negative 8 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Fahrenheit, 2 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 3 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 11 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Fahrenheit, and 1 degrees Fahrenheit. Order the integers from least to greatest. Well, we need to start off with the smallest integer first, and that is that of negative 11. Next, we have negative 8. Then, we have negative 3, followed by 0, 1, 2, and 10. Those are the integers ordered from least to greatest. One of our key concepts in this lesson is that of absolute value. The absolute value of a number is the distance the number is from 0 on the number line. The absolute value of a number is always greater than or equal to 0. So when we look at the absolute value of 6, well, 6 is 6 spots away from 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 6 units away. The absolute value of negative 6. Well, here's negative 6. Negative 6 is also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spots away from 0. And so the absolute value of 6 is 6, and the absolute value of negative 6 is also 6. Remember, the absolute value of a number is always greater than or equal to 0. Always going to be 0 or a positive number, because distances here are positive. So in example 4a, evaluate each expression. In a, we have the absolute value of 5. Well, that is simply the 5. Now in b and c, we're asked to do something with this. So the absolute value of negative 8 plus the absolute value of negative 1. We'll take it one step at a time. The absolute value of negative 8 is positive 8 plus the absolute value of negative 1 is a positive 1, and 8 plus 1 is 9. What about subtraction? What would the absolute value of 5 minus the absolute value of negative 2? The absolute value of 5 is 5. Minus the absolute value of negative 2 is a positive 2, and 5 minus 2 is 3. Next, we're asked to evaluate each expression if x equals negative 2. So here we get to substitute in negative 2 for x. And so we'll put in negative 2 for x plus 8. The absolute value of negative 2 is a positive 2 plus 8 is 10. And that is it for this lesson, Chapter 2, Section 1 on Integers and Absolute Value. Good luck!